Hi guys, so you're probably thinking from the title of this video and getting a little confused why I look so like, I don't know, not glamorous, I'm, you know, but I have like these big lashes on and rainbow makeup and big bubblegum lips and cheeks. So um, I did actually film an 80s style tutorial, which I'll link here when, eventually when it's um, up and running for you to have a look at. But yeah, um, I'm going to a club in a couple of weeks, which is called Reflex in London, if you've never heard of it. Um, I'll link it below. But it's basically an 80s style club and people get dressed up and everything. And I was thinking, oh, I need to like think of a look or something like that. And yeah, um, I thought, yeah, I'll make a video at the same time and show myself doing it. So yeah, this is the end result of the look. So. Um, yeah, um, I'll link that video eventually when I have done it and put it onto YouTube. So, yeah, this is all the empties. I have it in a Pandora bag and I kind of scribble empty on the empties on it just so I know it's my empties. There are some products in here which I haven't fully finished because they're ones that I've just know I'm not going to finish using and I might do a blog sale or just send it to Cosmetic Heaven or something like that. Um, they're just things that I'm not reaching for and they're a little bit out of date and yeah. So there's a lot of shampoo and conditioner and shower gels in here so you're probably going to get really bored but um, yeah I'm going to get started because I'll be here a while. But the first product is um, face wipes, I've talked about these before, they're Johnson's and Johnson's um, daily essentials um, cleansing wipes, you know they're essential even just for taking makeup off your hand or whatever um, or your gym bag I have a stash of these in my work drawer as well just in case I kind of just want to retouch up my makeup to go out after work or something like that so I have that which is an empties um, I have um, my Carez uh, or Cause or whatever you want to call it Guava shower gel um, all gone I did blog about this I like it really a lot and I will definitely get this again when I feel like splurging on a shower gel that is a little bit more expensive. But um, yeah, it's a really good brand. They are totally like into no chemicals and no testing on animals. And it, it smells great, this stuff. And oh, I was just like, I got to the end of it and I was just like, oh no, none left. But yeah, I literally was scraping it out of the tube. So I really, really love that. I would definitely buy that again um for shower hair products i have this one this is from aveda and it's the smooth infusion shampoo i've had this for ages when this was first started getting talked about on the youtube world i kind of jumped on the bandwagon and um bought this shampoo conditioner um i use up the conditioner really fast obviously because i have quite long thick hair so that all I go through conditioner so fast, but um, yeah, I still had this left, and I just took it to the gym with another conditioner and started to use it. And I forgot how much I liked this because I'd had it hanging around for so long, and it kind of makes me want to go and buy it all again and start using it again. But I just can't, like, it's quite expensive product and brand, I think. So yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure if I would buy it again, but I want to because I actually liked it. So I don't know. <laughs> Time will tell. Um, shampoo and conditioners as well. I have. I this has got a little bit left in it, but it's barely that much. So it's to me, it's empty. But um, I had the herbal essence, and this one is the moisture and shine conditioner. Hello hydration and shampoo as well. Um, as you can see, I have a little bit left. Nothing fancy, but um, I really I've used this again and again and again and again. And I love it. It smells of coconuts and just mm, love it. And I think it's really good just to give your hair a little TLC. I usually take this on holiday with me if I'm going to a hot country and I feel like my hair needs a little bit TLC. Or I'll take this other brand which I have lurking in here as well, which is Aussie. Um, I take Aussie with me as well um, if I'm going on a holiday if I don't take the herbal essence. Um, especially take the heat because my hair just seems to get very damaged on the ends even though I will use um, products to try and prevent it I don't know my hair just 
gets very badly split ends and very bad split ends yeah very bad split ends and I just whatever I seem to do even if I cut regularly use products to try and prevent it oils lotions potions my hair just ends up a bit bleh. and um I don't know why so I try and use stuff that is like um heat prevention protection whatever um, so I definitely like Take The Heat by Aussie. Um, I might take this brand actually when I go on my road trip to America or I might buy it out there, say packing it. Hmm, that's a good idea. Anyway, um, yeah, I have in here as well two conditioners from Take The Heat range, which is the Three Minute Miracle Deep Treatment um, too. I love this stuff. I've used it again and again and again and again. Um, it smells gorgeous. It's just like a really thick conditioner, deep treatment. Leave it on your hair for about three to four minutes, three to four, three to five minutes, or as long as you like, really. I sometimes just use this as a daily conditioner as well, not just a deep treatment, because as I said, my hair is a bit prone to looking a bit dodge at the end. So um, yeah, I like to try and use something like this quite a lot on my hair and I love it. Um, and also Tesco's are doing free for £10 at the moment, so I'm tempted to buy a load of this stuff. So yeah, but I'm still technically on my ban. But um, yeah, I have another shampoo and conditioner, and this one um, I want to repurchase so badly because I love it. And it is the Tara Smith shampoo and conditioner. And this is the Shine On one, which is the red cap. I love this stuff. It's expensive though, each one of these is £10 each, so £20 for my hair basically. And conditioner, as I said, I go through a lot of conditioner because my hair is thick and it's quite long. And yeah, I just tend to go through the conditioners really, really fast, whatever the brand. So, um, you know, it's quite difficult for me to want to spend £10 on a bottle of um, you know, conditioner, which I'm just literally putting in my hair and rinsing out. But this range is fantastic. If you don't like chemicals, if you don't like testing on animals, and you are vegan, and yeah, this brand is for you. Tara Smith, I'll link her website below. Um, I met her as well, and she's so passionate about her brand and the products, everything really. And she's worked with some amazing people like Demi Moore, um, Anna Frill. Um, Kifo Sutherland as well I think she's worked with but yeah she's just a really amazing person and she actually recommended the shine on for me um, and I just really really love it and I love the packaging as well it's got like the birds and stuff so I really really like it and I just I don't want to throw the bottles away because they're really really nice so I might you know use them as gym bottles so I can put bigger bottles into these ones and not have to carry around humongous bottles in my gym bag and break my back. But um, yeah, next lot of products in here is this. And it's from Aveda again. And it is still quite full. I have used about that much. I don't ever pick this up because it doesn't really work for me at all. As I said in this video, I have thick hair and this is actually a volumizing tonic which obviously um, you put on the root area and it just makes your roots a bit woohoo. Um, this is um, basically a volume shine spray for fine to medium hair. I don't have hair like that and I'm kind of wondering why I got swayed into buying it because I had the shop assistant with me and everything and they were like oh yeah that would work for you and I kind of just think really because my hair is so heavy and this, I have tried to like it and love it, but it just doesn't work. It just, my hair will be volumized for like a couple of hours and then it's just flat as a pancake. It just doesn't make my hair volumized at all. And um, I'm really kind of sad because it was a little bit expensive and I've still got over half the bottle left. So it's either gonna get passed on to someone else or cosmetic heaven. But I don't really want to waste it. I might blog sell it. I don't know. If you'll be interested in this, let me know in the comments below if you want to, you know, try it. But I do like it, but it just doesn't really work for me and my hair. So, unfortunately, I don't want to have it anymore. So, next little products is this. And this is from Stila. 
I'm a little bit annoyed about this, but it's kind of... I shouldn't be because this is like two years old and this is the Smudge Pot in Kitten. I love this. I bought it in New York. I used it a lot. I love Kitten eyeshadow. It's just pretty. But I barely kind of hit the bottom of the pot and unfortunately it's gone bone dry like a rock desert. You know, it's barren. There's nothing going on. You can get some colour on your finger but nothing really at all and it's just it's no more basically and I'm a little bit annoyed about that but you know that's what happens but I really do like that but I'm just like I don't want to purchase it again because I've got other things that are quite similar that I could use so I'm not gonna buy that um I've got some chapsticks I've got my Blistex Raspberry Lemonade Blast, which I've got in the States. Love this. I've got about 20 zillion more of these upstairs in my vanity drawer to use up. So I'm totally supplied with this forever and ever. I love this. It tastes divine. And also, I used up one of these, and it's the Burt's Bees Lip Balm in Honey. Um, I don't particularly like this at all um i found it it says it's quite moisturizing and soothing and nourishing but for me it just i didn't really like the honey smell taste thing going on and also i found it quite hard it wasn't nourishing on your lips like the blistics one is soft and balmy on my lips so this i found quite hard to like apply because it was just i don't know if it dried out or something before i got it but it was just it wasn't that great and I, yeah, I think I got it because of the hype about Burt's Bees being amazing. Maybe they are, I've tried their foot lotions and things like that and I quite like them but lip product wise I'm not convinced that it's a good, yeah, anyway. Um, I finished a face powder and this is Max Slicked Sheer Pressed Powder in the shade NW20. It's all gone. Um, I'm going to do this on the back to Mac and get myself a lipstick. I don't know what one, but I will get one. But yeah, I'm totally used to this. I've had it for ages anyway, so it was... I basically had a leftover little circle of it in the pan and I was just trying and trying to get rid of it. And finally it's gone and it's like, yay! But yeah, that's that. Um, another product that I haven't finished, but I just can't... I don't have the patience for it anymore. And it's this by... Urban Decay and it's called De Slick and it's a mattifying powder for oily skin girls and boys and it's just a white powder which has broke in there but um it's just yeah you don't really get much from it it's it smells really strange and when you kind of put it on your hand just as a demo it's really chalky and just it's quite smooth once you start kind of pressing it into your fingers like that but it's quite chalky and when you kind of get it on the brush it doesn't really put much on your skin and I've used it quite a lot and there's barely anything gone I just and also I don't really find that it mattifies me at all of like after a while I'll be oily again so yeah a bit of a wasted product really I shouldn't have bought that but, um, Final couple of things. I have a shower gel from whoop, throwing it. I have a shower gel from uh, Molten Brown, and this is the Paradistic Paradistic Pe Pink Pepper Pod Bath and Shower Gel. It's a little mini. I got this in the Blogger's Christmas Party bag and took it to the gym with with me and just used it in one go basically. But it smelled so good and it. I love Molten Brown, but I just find they're really expensive, kind of, so it puts me off. Um, next product um, is something I've had in my drawer for a while, and I just thought it's past its sell-by date. It's the Bobbi Brown um, Extra Repair Eye Cream. It's just a bit, it's got a bit, it looks a bit strange in the pot for me, and smells a bit different, like a bit whiffy, but yeah. Um, I do love this product when it actually is okay to use, but I'm just going to throw the product away inside and keep the pot, and then I'm going to put some more eye cream in there so I can take it away when I go on my travels later on. But, um, yeah, next two products are a face one, and this is one I got at an event. It's called Free Lab um, Super Cream. It's a teeny tiny pot, and... I really liked this product and when we was at the event 
a full size of this pot costs about £600. Wow. £600 for a full size 50ml pot because it's that amazing and it does work really well on your skin. This little pot here was we were told was worth a hundred pounds alone and it's only four mils of it which is 0.14 ounce so yeah I basically used it in like a, about a month and I was trying to be really like not like generous with it on my skin I was really trying to like not use that much at all and I did like it but I, I don't know if I can review it because I don't feel like I had enough of it to review it and see the benefits if that makes sense like I will probably talk about it eventually but it's just I don't feel comfortable talking and reviewing about something I didn't really get to use long enough especially because it's skincare and I feel like when you're doing a review about skincare products I feel like you need to really kind of use them to actually you know tell your followers that it is a good product and you have kind of seen the pros and cons of it if you've just used it for a couple of weeks and you've not really seen much difference with it I don't really see how you can you know review it but I will do a little write up about it because I really did like it and the final product is something I love and it is the Garnier Body Ultimate Body Oil or Beauty Oil shall I say I friggin love this stuff it's amazing it smells so good it's got argan, macadamia, almond and rose in it. It's a weightless body oil basically and you spray it on, buff it into your skin and you'll smell beautiful like a rose and just you have baby soft skin and it's just so nice. And I already have two more bottles of this, one upstairs in my little beauty area which I put on at night. And I have one in my gym bag as well because I just love it. And I know Superdrug have this on offer at the moment from £7 down to £5. So if you like it, definitely go and grab it from Superdrug. Yay. So that is everything. I hope I haven't bored you too much with my video. Um, I will see you soon. Um, hopefully I won't look so va va voom in my next video. I'm sorry I haven't really been about lately, but I just haven't had a chance to film any videos. So keep watching and sure you'll see something you like eventually. <laughs> but yeah, um, have a great day guys and I'll see you soon. Bye!